Hello, I'm James George and this is Creative Beacon and today I'm going to show you a real quick productivity trick with Adobe Illustrator and artboards. Every week I share uh, a set of free vector files or vector cool that you guys can uh, download for free and use in your projects. Well, uh, I discovered this uh, yesterday and I wanted to combine everything into um, landscape artboards and um, export them for use in my blog article. Well, the problem with that is I've got all these multiple artboards here and they're all in one file and there's not really a way to export them like you would normally think. Most people would think, okay, well, let me go to File, uh, Save for Web. The problem with that method is it just picks one artboard and that's it. And so there's no, there's no menu, there's no extra set of anything that you can choose in order to um, save all of your artboards as PNG files. The reason this is, I think, it may be just because there's no dialog box or no way to control sizing for each individual PNG file. And so, because you could have uh, different size, uh, sizes and shapes to every single artboard, and I think that that's what the problem is. And so if you, um, if you go here, it's not going to work. And so if you just cancel out of that, uh, I discovered a, a way to get around this. If you just go to File and Export, another dialog box will come up to use artboards and you can say all or you can uh, define a range. See I have eight different artboards so if I only wanted to do the first four I could do one through four and you can save them with a certain name. See mine was plant, animals, and insect vectors and that's it. That's all I put but if you have multiple, multiple artboards it will append it uh, on the end with a numerical uh, description. So it will say plants and animal vectors 01, 02, 03, 04, 05, all the way up to however many artboards you have. And you can set it in the format of PNG, JPEG, or any other. There's multiple formats here, but you know, I, I choose PNG or JPEG, uh, just you know, especially for blog posts. And if you do a PNG, then I would um, recommend going to uh, tinypng.org. And you can upload all of them there, and it will compress all of your PNG files. And they, will, they won't lose any quality, but they'll be about half the size. Usually, that's what I find, is about 40 to 50% smaller in file size while not losing any image quality, which is fantastic. But once you're, once you're ready for that, you could just say, I'll just name this animals, just, just so you can see. And see, I said all, and you go to export. And Illustrator will do its magic. And you, know, you can set your options here, resolution. You can set it to high if you want to. If you're doing uh, if you're doing uh, JPEGs, and uh, you can determine how it's optimized and if it's interlaced. And this is the cool part: um, is a few little extra options that you don't get in uh, Save for Web is the ability to choose a, a black or white background, make it completely transparent, or you can t uh, you can define your own 
background color. So if I wanted everything to be, um, you know, a nice hot pink, then okay, that's what I can do. And then that's it. And so it gives you a preview. That's what your file will look like. I'm going to choose something other than Well, maybe I'll just leave it hot pink. Why not? And so it'll go ahead and it'll make all those files. I told it to go into that same folder where my other ones were. And you'll see if I go to my desktop. And so if we just go up and I go in that folder, there they are. Animals 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And then you can just drop them into your uh, WordPress post. Or uh, if you do high res, you can drop them into your layouts. And there you go. All of your Illustrator files, uh, if they're all in one, uh, all your artboards are in one file, you can export them automatically. And append the names numerically. And this will save you time instead of having to go uh, choose one, save for web, choose another, put it in its own file, save for web. And it just it's a productivity um, enhancement that will save you a lot of time. Hope this helps you guys out. And I'm James George, and this is Creative Beacon.